Being nice is one of the most amazing traits, but it comes with its pros and cons. Ever wondered why nice people are easily pushed around and stepped on? Well, yes, there is actually a problem with being too nice. Stay tuned as we dive into some of the major problems nice people face. They are easily taken advantage of. Nice people are often taken advantage of because they have a trusting nature. They believe in the goodness of others and may not recognize when someone is trying to exploit their kindness. Being empathetic, they take on others' problems as their own, which can be overwhelming. Nice people also tend to avoid confrontation, preferring to keep the peace. Setting healthy boundaries and surrounding themselves with supportive people is important for nice people to avoid being taken advantage of. Remember, being nice doesn't mean sacrificing your own well-being. They find it difficult to say no and set boundaries. The desire to please others might make it difficult for nice people to say no or establish boundaries. They are sensitive to the feelings of others and try to steer clear of confrontation and disappointment whenever possible. They worry that if they answer no, they will cause pain or distress to the other person. Because of their desire to be liked, nice individuals have trouble saying no and setting limits. They worry about upsetting other people, so they put their own wants and needs last. They have trouble saying no because they worry about people's reactions or because they don't want to come across as selfish. They are also sensitive to the possibility of hurting others' feelings or relationships. Nice individuals, however, need to learn to put themselves first and establish healthy limits. It's not an act of selfishness if they are prioritizing their own well-being and the stability of their relationships. Keep in mind that you are worthy of consideration and respect. Finding that sweet spot between selflessness and self-interest is crucial. Don't be scared to put yourself first and make your personal happiness and well-being a priority by speaking up and establishing healthy limits. They attract toxic or manipulative people. Just so they can take advantage of nice people, toxic or manipulative persons are sometimes drawn to nice people because of their kindness and empathy. Some people are toxic because they take advantage of others' generosity for their own ends. Nice individuals are more likely to assume the best in others, which means they could miss the warning signals of poisonous behavior or manipulation. Furthermore, good people may have a propensity to put the needs of others ahead of their own leaving them more open to manipulation. In an effort to keep the peace or avoid confrontation, they may ignore warning signs or go against their gut instincts. To be a good person, one must know one's limits and have faith in one's intuition. Building a strong social network requires surrounding oneself with positive, honest people. Keep in mind, buddy, that you are worthy of nothing less than the utmost consideration. You should avoid somebody who is toxic or manipulative if you like what you are hearing, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. They struggle to ask for help or support. Kind people have a hard time reaching out for assistance because they worry about being an inconvenience to others. Because they are accustomed to being the ones who provide assistance and support to others, it can be challenging for them to put themselves in a situation where they require assistance. Because they see themselves to be weak or defenseless, they might be terrified of being evaluated or rejected. It's likely that even the kindest people have a strong desire to strike out on their own every once in a while. People have a hard time accepting help at times because they fear that doing so will reflect adversely on them. Because of this style of thinking, it's possible that they'll be afraid to reach out to others and ask for assistance. Do not be afraid to seek help if you believe that you require it. Do not be embarrassed to do so. It takes a lot of guts to acknowledge your own limitations and put your health ahead of other things in this way. They put others' needs before their own. Because they care so much about the well-being and pleasure of those around them, nice people frequently put the needs of others ahead of their own. Their willingness to lend a hand and cheer on those around them is indicative of their generous character. Being burnt out and angry are possible outcomes of ignoring one's own needs. It's important to strike a balance between assisting others and prioritizing one's own needs. Nice individuals know the value of boundaries, of expressing their demands clearly, and of taking care of themselves. Always keep in mind, my buddy, that you deserve the best of everything in life. People see them as a doormat or pushover, 
as a result of the fact that good individuals frequently have their generosity and willingness to assist others taken advantage of, some people may view them as doormats or pushovers. It's possible that some people would interpret their kindness as a weakness and attempt to manipulate or take advantage of them for their own benefit. They may place a higher priority on the requirements of others than on their own, and they may have difficulties standing up for themselves in certain circumstances. However, it is essential to keep in mind that being polite does not equate to acting in a submissive manner. Kind people are nonetheless capable of asserting themselves and setting limits while still retaining their pleasant attitude. It is imperative that they convey their requirements to one another and advocate for themselves if it is required. If you ever have the impression that other people are taking advantage of your generosity, it is imperative that you acknowledge your own value and create appropriate limits for yourself. Always keep in mind that you are deserving of being treated with the same level of respect and love that you show to others. They have the fear of disappointing or letting others down. This fear could be rooted in a desire to keep relationships amicable and steer clear of any potential for conflict. Kind individuals could be concerned that if they are unable to fulfill someone's request or live up to their expectations, it would put a strain on the relationship or result in disappointment. Because nice individuals genuinely care about the health and happiness of those around them, they frequently experience the anxiety that comes from the worry that they may disappoint or let down others. They want to be dependable and helpful to others, and the idea that they might fall short of what people anticipate from them might give them anxiety. Kind individuals should always keep in mind that they will not always be able to sway the opinions of those around them. It is permissible to establish limits and to put one's own requirements and well-being first. The ability to communicate in an open and honest manner can be an asset when it comes to managing expectations and avoiding misunderstandings. Kind individuals need to realize that they are not the only factor in determining the level of joy experienced by those around them. Each person is responsible for their own feelings and behaviors, regardless of what others do. Putting one's own needs first and making self-care a priority are both beneficial to one's health. They struggle to stand up for themselves. Nice people have a far more difficult time than others when it comes to being aggressive or speaking out for themselves. If speaking out for yourself is not something you are used to doing, it may give you the feeling of being in danger. There could be a number of contributing elements, the majority of which overlap or are intertwined with one another, if it's an issue that you find yourself having to deal with. However, it is essential to keep in mind that speaking up for one's own rights does not constitute being rude or selfish. It is about recognizing their own worth and making sure that their requirements are satisfied. It takes time and effort to learn how to assert oneself, yet doing so is essential for maintaining healthy relationships and one's own sense of self-respect. They may be afraid of confrontation, or they may be concerned about offending the feelings of others. It can be difficult for them to articulate their own needs and boundaries because of their want to be liked and accepted by others. Communicate your thoughts and emotions in a manner that is respectful while retaining your self-assurance. Always keep in mind that your wants and emotions have merit, and it is imperative that you speak up for yourself. They feel responsible for other people's emotions. When nice individuals feel responsible for the emotions of other people, it's usually because they have a strong desire to be accepted and a fear of being rejected. They may have the misconception that their value is dependent on the opinions of other people. This frame of mind can be impacted by a variety of reasons including previous experiences of criticism or a wish to please others. Nice people may place a higher value on the joy and acceptance of others than they do on their own well-being, which may cause them to seek validation in a never-ending cycle. Nevertheless, it is essential to acknowledge that each individual possesses their own one-of-a-kind viewpoints and beliefs. It is a fruitless endeavor to attempt to control or alter the way in which other people view you. It is of the utmost importance to place a strong emphasis on being authentic to oneself and adopting one's own set of core values and beliefs. Conquering one's need for external validation might be made easier for decent individuals who work on cultivating their self-confidence and acceptance of themselves. You may also make a major impact in your situation by surrounding yourself with positive, caring, 
and supporting people who value you for who you are and respect your unique qualities. Remember, finding that sweet spot between being kind and taking care of yourself is the secret sauce. When the nice person finally lets go of their need to make other people happy, they can focus on themselves and take better care of themselves. Now click on the next video to keep improving your life.